pressure from Van Dijk. Back in by target, and Van Dijk hasn't given it up. Courtois well off his line here. And the chip and the header from Long is over. A superb work from Virgil van Dijk. And Long really should have made more of it. He's so frustrated, he knows, because we talk about Shane Long. Not the biggest man in the world, but he's got a great spring. And the quality of Van Dijk here brings it down. There's enough time to just lift it in there. And that is so inviting for a centre forward. And Shane Long knows he should be scoring that. Oh, Shane Long, one shy of ten goals in all competitions this season. Scored the winner at Swansea. In the last game with target inside to Stephen Davis. Right down the middle, Van Dijk has stayed forward. Here is Austin to whip it back in, and Cahill had to get there. Jose Font was arriving behind him. You can see what the, the tactic of Southampton is it's so obvious. They've been told as soon as you get the opportunity in any wide positions, think about nothing else other than just put it back into that central area. It was a great delivery on the half volley from Charlie Austin. Does well to hold it up and wait for support provided by Oscar. And here's William. Oscar sets his sights here. A good strike and forced it. Well, not just saved it, but held it. Costa spins away from Van Dyke. Oh, plenty of venom. Now, oh, Austin quickly onto that loose pass. Davis. So, well capable of picking a pass, it's Austin that he's found! Oh, went for a Courtois left-hand side. Well, you get a perfect example of why Austin got those 18 goals for QPR last season. Doesn't think about anything else. Drops into the space, first touch, shoots straight away. Don't allow the goalkeeper to get set and he's just past the near post. You talk, Gary, to some people who really know their football, yourself included, about Charlie Austin. And the big question as to why he wasn't... Well, Forster has been very well protected today. And Damon, there's uh, not been too many goals about. Oh, here's a chance. Shane Long. Courtois comes. Long finds the bottom corner. What a fabulous finish from Shane Long. Match winner in the last outing against Swansea. And when the chance presented itself there, it was an unerring finish. Late stages of the first half. Southampton won, Chelsea nil. What a great time to get the goal. And Shane Long, we know about his pace. But it just looked like his touch had took it too far away from him. And you're expecting Courtois to come out and smother it. He doesn't. Looking at Rackman again. Don't know what he's trying here. But Shane Long gets there. And the composure, just for that little think finish. What a wonderful goal. A bad moment for Baba Rackman. It looked like Courtois was going to get there. There was only one way he could beat the Chelsea goalkeeper. And Long found that way. And having missed the chance early in the game with his head, with his right foot, that was an outstanding finish. You know how much Shane Long gets his home goals. It seems that like the majority of them all come at St Mary's, and that's a great goal. And Ratman may well put his head into his shirt there, because for a couple of minutes before... And Costa, that was important. Davis would have been away. Mazar again, lovely ball, slip forward, Oscar to the end line, looking for the pullback. Oh, and Southampton survive. Seemed to take a little nick off Ryan Bertrand as Costa was hurtling in towards that near post area. He's fortunate there, Bertrand. I don't know why he's looking for offside. In Looks the forward for Austin, who's outside of Ivanovic. Cahill slides in, it's clumsy. Southampton wants a penalty, nothing doing. But penalty shot again, we'll see it in the replay. Gets a good touch now, he's just looking to lift it over Cahill, and that arm comes out. Now, he may argue that he's been pushed to the floor, but he puts his arm out to make sure that that ball is not being lifted back over him. For me, that is a penalty. Oh, I think he also took some of us. Costa up and running. Here is Hazard. Costa wants it, and Costa will get it. Stays in play, Fabregas. Oh, it's all the way in! And finally, Southampton concede a goal. And in the end, it's a very, very soft one. It is, and initially Southampton arguing, did the ball go out of play from Costa? But when Fabregas gets it, he just leaves it in that area, and his uncertainty then between Forster and his defender allows the ball just to trickle in. And if you're going to concede a goal after defending so well, it's such a frustrating one to do. And Bertrand there will be arguing, did the ball go out? But look at Van Dijk, he allows Hazard to run into there. If he just blocks the run, Forster's got all the space to come in and collect an easy cross, but he doesn't.
Outstanding work from Diego Costa. I do think the hold of the ball hadn't crossed the line. It was a cross from Fabregas towards Hazar. And Fraser Foster was rooted. And they could only watch it go beyond him. Just don't walk, don't amble back. Cahill suggests to Willian where he wants it. Here it comes. Ivanovic! And Chelsea have found it. Forster got a hand and it couldn't keep it out. But it's the man with the captain's armband, Branislav Ivanovic, who has Chelsea in front here in the 89th minute. Ronald Koeman will be so disappointed, angry even, to get a free header on the penalty spot in the last couple of minutes of a game that you've defended so well throughout from. Look at Ivan Ivanovic. We know about Ivanovic. If you allow him a 1-2-3 jump, he's going to beat most people. We've seen it for years in the Premier League. And Van Dijk, why he doesn't get touched tight?